Hi everyone, it's so good to see you today. I want to talk to you, I saw a movie, I've seen it before, it's been a while, and I sat down and I rewatched it the other day and it was called The Cruise. And for those who know what it is, you know it's an animated film and there's lots of interesting storylines that are going on within the story, but the thing that struck me the most was never not be afraid. In other words, always be afraid, because to them, that's what kept them alive. They were afraid of anything new, anything that would be considered adventure, anything that they didn't have to do, they didn't do it, and they hid themselves in a cave for days at a time. But then everything changed. The world changed. Things started happening. And the father was always trying to protect his family. Never not be afraid. Never not be afraid. But that would, so everybody lived in fear. The one thing that, by the end of the film, he said, never be afraid. Because he grew as a person, and he could see what it meant to embrace what was going on around him. Doesn't mean he liked what was happening, doesn't mean he could control everything that happened, but he understood that it was going to take more than being afraid to live. And so many times with fear, we become so gripped with fear that we hide ourselves away and we don't we don't want to live in fear but we figure if I stay within my four walls everything will be fine it's not gonna be fine it's not gonna be fine because why number one fear wants to control you and you have to look at fear and say you're not gonna control me you're not going to have that that opportunity in my life but Sarah, have you seen the gas prices? Have you seen that the grocery store? Have you seen we can't find things at the grocery store? Sarah, have you, have you seen what's going on in the political world right now? Everything is upside down. Nothing seems working like it's supposed to. Sarah, don't you see what's happening around you? All the stuff that's happening. There's war. There's famine. There's, there's lack. There's all. Look, I can't control those things. But I can't let it control me either. So I have to look past that. I have to say, what can I do to make it better? What choices can I make to work through these problems? Did I go out and vote? Yes, I did. Did the person I, I, I wanted elected get elected? We're still waiting to see. We don't know that yet, okay? But just putting, just voting isn't enough. We have to be the ones that, that speak out against injustice. We have to be the ones who work toward a re resolution. Okay, let me ask you something. When you're on the job and there's a problem, and you go to your boss with the problem, what does the boss say? So what's the solution? And you go, uh, I don't have a solution. Don't talk to me about the problem until you have a solution. Because this is the way we're going to do it until we have a resolution here. So then you have to go back and formulate it. So before you go to your boss and say we have a problem, you come up with an answer and say, well, we can do one of three things. We can do this, 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 or this. Well, that's four things right there. And the boss looks at you and goes, well, I like this one and this one. Let's put it to a vote. Everybody goes, okay, you will to a vote. And then they decide which, which way to go. Or if your boss is just like, I'll just make a decision right now. Uh, that one works. That one sounds really good to me. Let's put let's implement that. Let's put that together. Because we're trying to resolve things. And many times when we are in fear, we're not fulfilling our potential. Not only that, others can't fulfill their potential. Oh, Sarah, that's silly. No, it's not. There are a lot of people who want to stand up, but they're too afraid. Until one person stands up and does it. Until one person says no. Let me give you another example. The Avenger films, okay? You have a handful of people, these, these people, that are fighting against a horde that's coming in, like a tidal wave or a tsunami that's coming in saying, we're going to overtake you. And they fight, and they fight, and they fight. They keep going, right? They keep going in, and they're like, we're not letting this, we're not going to let this slide. We're not, why? Because they're the only things that stand between the, the innocent and evil. And you and I have to work past our fear. 
you and I have to come up with solutions. And then when we do, we can gather other people, and there's a strength in that number because everybody else goes, well, if they have strength to fight it, I have strength to fight it. If they say they can do it, I know I can do it. Nobody's perfect. And there's times where fear tries to just squeeze the life out of us. Does it mean that we're supposed to go hide our heads in the sand like an ostrich and pretend it never happened? No. But we need to be strong and resolute and not be afraid. Fear is so prevalent in everything. Even in movies and things like that, TV shows, there are, there are things that are specifically focused on fear. Why do you want to watch that stuff? Okay, Why do you let it in your life? Because it surrounds you, and after a while it becomes familiar. And after a while it's like, well, maybe it's not so bad. No, it's wrong, and we're not supposed to be living in fear. We're to embrace what's going on around us, but work on what we can work on. Trust God to help us through everything else, and, and, and pray and ask the Lord, say, you know, what else can we do here? How else can we make this better? What do we need to do so that these things become resolved because we're not supposed to live in fear we're supposed to go and if there is a conflict and there's always going to be conflict if there is a conflict how do we deal with that conflict do we handle it do we walk away what do we do well fear says you can't beat me fear says I'm stronger than you fear says if you take that step out that door, you're dead. Fear says you'll never, ever reach those dreams. Fear says, <laughs> who are you? And we need to be what stands up to fear and says, I'm not letting you conquer me. I'm not letting you have the say. I'm not letting you do what you want to do to me. I'm going to live my life to the best of my ability, and I'm going to live it where I make a difference every day. And that means standing up to fear. That means working through conflict. That means doing everything that I can do to be a better person and to change the world around me. Because it only takes one person to affect everybody else around them. And you know it as well as I do. you got those that are the connivers, right? those are the manipulators and then you have those who don't bend or bow to anybody and not because they think they're better than everybody else they're just not going to be succumbing to their wiles don't let fear be the thing that holds you back don't let it manipulate you don't let it cajole you don't let it twist you don't let it suffocate you instead find ways to fight against it and you will not only be a better person for it, but the people, pardon me, the people around you will, uh, will be wanting to see how they can do that for themselves. And they'll ask you questions, and they'll ask you to show them so that they can be a better person. I really appreciate you joining us today. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you soon. And as always, you are an incredible person with opportunities that other people don't have, so make use of them. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.